Today we're going to be starting what we plan as a new series of videos on this channel, dealing specifically with strollers that are worth buying on the used market. Because people are always asking about budget models, and the truth is that good used simply trumps cheap new. That's just how different the quality of manufacturer generally is out there. And in this video then, we thought we'd kick off with one of our favorites, the Baby Jogger City Mini GT, as in the original pre-2019 version, which was sized slightly smaller than the GT2, and which is one of my favorite small size daily use models of all time. So let's get started then, beginning with a brief look at the model itself, its strengths, weaknesses, and which lifestyles it will be a good fit for, and then move on to what you need to watch out for specifically when buying this model on the secondhand market. Starting off with some stats, the original GT clocks in at 10 kilos and folds down to 26 by 61 by 75 centimeters, making the folded package quite flat, which can often be convenient if you have tighter trunk space. The model has car seat and bassinet options, but the real advantage in terms of child comfort comes with seat size, where, as with most three-wheelers, the GT is large enough to take your child all the way through to the end of their stroller years in good comfort, which is almost always a bit of a problem on reversible seat models due to the limitations created by the separate seat frame. As far as driving is concerned, that single front wheel gives the GT excellent maneuverability, while terrain-wise, despite the lack of rear suspension, which is more than made up for by the makeup of the wheels and the shock-absorbing structure of the overall chassis, the model rivals any four-wheeler on the current market, other than perhaps a few fixed-wheel models, and is also quite sturdily built, Baby Jogger being one of those companies with roots in the off-road jogging market, and also has a super easy one-step, one-hand fold. And in my opinion then, the GT will be great for anybody who needs a small size daily model for use in more rugged environments, like older European cities with lots of cobblestones, for people who need something easier on trunk space but want to take some trips in local nature, or just for anyone who needs a daily use model that excels in terms of these features, seat size, terrain capability, folded size, and weight, and who are okay with the fact that their stroller only has a forward-facing seat, and that the basket space is a bit more limited than one gets with four-wheeled models. When looking to buy this model used, you'll of course need to check that the model is in good working order, and not missing anything essential, and other than outright broken bars, usually the handle arms or the upper rear crossbar when this happens, you'll want to pay particular attention to the following areas. Firstly, that the brakes work, because they involve a long, relatively complex wire system that's prone to rust, though note that this is an area you can fix yourself if you're a little handy, and we have videos to help you along. Secondly, that the folding mechanisms function smoothly. These can also be fixed, of course, though you may need access to spare parts. Thirdly, that the plastic connectors above the central fold, where the bumper bar and canopy attach, are in good order. There are screws here that run from the inside to the outside, which need to be in place and whole, as if they're broken or missing, then there's a good chance that the upper handle arms have been strained and bent and may likely break in the future. And lastly, the front wheel fork, that it locks in place, can be removed, and that the swivel lock functions as it should. Other mechanical elements such as the rear wheels, in particular the ball bearings, should be checked as well, but in my experience, these are the key areas that often have problems. And on top of this, you'll want to check that the harness is complete and whole, the canopy ribs are not broken, and that the textiles are free of mildew stains and tears. Once you've acquired a good model, it's my recommendation to do the following maintenance before use. Go over the whole stroller top to bottom, tightening up every screw, and paying particular attention to the screws on the handle and handle arms, as a rigid handle will protect the model's weak point, which is where that handle connects to the folding mechanisms. Then lubricate all the moving parts with a spray lubricant like WD-40, in particular the folding mechanism, the brake wire and lower brake assembly, and the ball bearings, while using a thicker grease, like multi-purpose auto grease, on the connection between the front fork and chassis. You can of course go beyond this as well if you like, and we have several repair videos on our channel related to Baby Jogger, as well as a more general cleaning and maintenance video that has been linked in the description. It's hard to pin down the right price for this model, since secondhand markets vary widely across the world, but from what I've seen at least, a used GT in decent condition should usually fetch somewhere between 1 to 200 bucks, which is well below the price of a new GT2, and if treated properly and maintained correctly, has more or less just as good longevity moving forwards as buying a new GT2 would, and as I said in the beginning, much better longevity than buying a cheaper model new would give you for the same price. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.